Hi, I'm Bill Dickerson, and this is LVI TV, your weekly dental news source where we bring you interesting and sometimes fascinating stories in dentistry. One of the rapidly growing areas in dentistry is treating sleep apnea, and yet according to Science Daily, research by UCLA School of Dentistry found on average that only 2.9 hours are spent on this subject in the entire four years of dental school. Dentists can be the primary source of detection for OSA, and with 90% of the 20 to 70 million Americans who suffer from OSA going undetected and untreated, there is a huge need for dentists to get involved. With 60% of OSA-treated patients abandoning their CPAP treatment, oral appliance therapy is becoming more popular. Those who have studied this know the effects that sleep apnea has on the heart, increasing the chance of a heart attack by 23 times. In two recent studies, they have also found that those who suffer with sleep apnea also have a higher risk of cancer. One in Spain found that those with OSA that had their oxygen saturation drop below 90% for more than 12% of the time had a 68% chance of developing cancer. The other study on 1,500 government workers in Wisconsin found that those with severe OSA had a five times higher chance of dying from cancer. Why? Scientists believe that it has to do with the body's response to low oxygen. When mice with tumors were put in low oxygen environment to simulate sleep apnea, the cancer progressed more rapidly. Scientists speculate that the low oxygen causes the mice to develop more blood vessels to compensate, acting like fertilizer for the cancer to progress and spread more quickly. Besides the heart and cancer, OSA has also been linked to strokes, depression, disruptive behavior in children, bedwetting, low growth, and many other conditions. Next time you hear of someone in their 40s or 50s dying of natural causes, Take a look at them. You'll see evidence of OSA. In related studies, 75% of patients presenting with TMD have clinical findings to suggest the presence of a sleep-related breathing disturbance. Conversely, another study found that 75% of the patients with OSA also presented with pain related to TMD. Don't let anyone tell you that one causes the other. They're both caused by the same thing. Both are diseases of the craniofacial anatomy. It is essential that all dentists should be trained on this subject. The key is to treat these people physiologically. LVI's sleep medicine course is physiologic based. Others arbitrarily create a mandibular advancement device, putting the patient in a pathologic position, adding to the airway constriction and forcing them to move the mandible much farther forward than necessary, many times causing TMD problems. What are your thoughts on sleep apnea and dentistry? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like us and subscribe and click this annotation to go to the lviglobal.com to find the next course on the physiologic approach to treating OSA and add this to your armamentarium and start saving people's lives as well as finding out the relationship to pain from craniomandibular disorders or TMD. I'm Bill Dickerson. Thanks for watching this episode of LVI TV. See you next time.